Hey everybody, Scott Lear here at B Cord. We are hanging out in Nashville, which everybody can see behind us, right? With Mr. Jimmy Charles. How are you, sir? I'm great, man. How you doing? I'm doing great. This is awesome. Thank you so much for giving us this awesome spot. Beautiful be day in Nashville. I mean, we go from putting AC on to, to the heat, the AC, the heat. Oh, it's great. Both it is absolutely thing. great. So first thing I got to ask you, you know, me traveling up here, I'm Maryland native. You're a Maryland native. Yeah. Tell us a little bit growing up down there on the shore. Give us a little and tell everybody what it was like growing up in that area. So I grew up on the eastern shore of Maryland, right outside of Ocean City. And um, I grew up right on the, the chest, right off the Chesapeake Bay and St. Martin's Neck River. I used to go crabbing every day off my dock and uh, fishing all the time. We, we had a, a little fishing boat that we take out of there. And then, of course, 15 minutes away, I got the beach. So I had like the best of both worlds there, man. And um, I tell you, the one thing when I moved here to Nashville about nine years ago, the biggest difference once I was here for a while was um, the salt air smell. You know, they have lakes and we have lake parties, you know, and the Redneck Yacht Club, like oh, you hear, you know, yeah. and they're a lot of fun, but um, nothing beats the salt air. So that's that's what I remember. And nobody around here really understands seafood either, right? No. <laughs> no, they say Maryland crab cakes on, on uh, that's one thing I can't stand. Don't call it, just call it a crab cake. Exactly. If you don't know what a Maryland style crab cake is, keep it off your menu, please. <laughs> Amen. Totally agree with you on that one. Well. One of the biggest things and the coolest thing that uh, we were, you know, doing a little research. It's like, oh, we're going to meet with Jimmy Charles. We're going to do this. Well, first thing that pops out, man, is you just won Tennessean of the Year, which is a really cool honor. So I want you to go into that a little bit. How does that come about? How do people vote on that? How does somebody win that? And that's a really cool honor. It, you know, it was a huge surprise. And you've got a lot of dreams as, as an artist. And this is one that I never expected, never even thought of, never even crossed my mind. But for the past four years, um, I've been working as Zero Cancer's national spokesman. And Zero Cancer is a, a non the biggest nonprofit prostate cancer organization in the country. And I had, I've been traveling the country singing a song that I wrote called Superman. Um, the video was very powerful, it was on CMT, GAC, has reached out to millions, and it provides awareness for men to get checked. You know, the video and, and song itself really, for everyone, it's about cancer in general. You know, and keeping up on your health. You know, no one's Superman. So I go out there and I get on morning news, or the morning the radio stations. I talk about the importance. One in eight men don't like to talk about prostate cancer. Men don't like to go to the dentist. They don't like to go to the doctor. I don't, unless something's wrong. But with prostate cancer, it doesn't have any symptoms. So it's and there's no there's there's not a lot of people talking about it. So you know, I really took that on as my mission, and uh, it's it's been amazing to go out there and sing this song to them and. Um, I was surprised by the uh, the Tennessee JCs, which is a huge organization all across the country. Um, I was nominated for the uh, the national award, which Elvis Presley, a lot of former presidents have won, um, and then I ended up winning the uh, the Tennessee of the year, um, uh, which was just truly amazing. I got to go to the awards and and just give a speech, and um, it really kind of gave me time to reflect on on what exactly. You know, we've been accomplishment, and it's it's nice to know that you can use your your music. I can use my music. It's a dream come true for me to be able to go out and do good in the world with music. You know, so because it's not about me, it's about these survivors, man. And when I look them in the eye and they're looking back at me, and I'm singing them their story, and they're tearing up, and the the embraces that I get, that's that's my award right there. But um, you know, I'm just going to use this to platform to do more great things. I so, love it. I yeah. love it. I mean. Hey, you can't say it well enough, I hate the doctor, everybody hates the doctor, yes. but it's something that you can bring awareness to and you've done that and we appreciate yeah. that, so Absolutely. big time. So, really cool news, March 23rd, right? Okay, so March 23rd, we have Josh Turner, Mo Z -Z. Pitney, and who else? But Jimmy uh, Charles gonna be there in Ocean City playing uh, the show. So yeah. give us a little about that, I know you're excited. I am, you know, I'm so excited and it's really cool because Josh Turner is is one of the guys that I looked up to when I was, you know, playing music. And I said to myself before I even moved to Nashville, I said, you know, that's what I want to be. I want to I want to take stages like that guy, you know. And and here I am doing it. So it's a dream come true. And anytime you're able to open for somebody that you've looked up to and that has, you know, helped pave the way for your own career, um, is it, just it's sometimes it's just like holy crap, you know. It's it's. This is really happening, you know, and uh, it's nine years of being in this town and 185 shows a year and uh, it, 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 and the ups and the downs of singing to empty to, to empty bar rooms to the crowded honky tonks. Yep. 
it, it all ultimately comes to this, you know, then you get your day in that, in that spotlight. And that's going to be one of these days I get to open for one of my heroes, you know, one of my, one of my guys. Well, and it's going to be so cool. I'm so excited for it. I know we have a ton of people that have reached out afterwards. You know, they're going to fill that convention center. It's going to be a really, really cool show. So It is. I just got to announce it to the hometown um, last week. And, yes. um, you know, we're doing all kinds of interviews and, and everybody's buying up tickets. And I can't wait to step on the stage in my hometown and just feel that love and, and knowing, you know, Josh Turner's back there too. So. <laughs> That's great. So let's hit the good stuff, right? Some of your music. So one of your songs, About Summertime, Tell us why should somebody go download that song today to listen to? Oh man, it's just a fun summertime song, you know? And if you don't, who doesn't like that? And I, you know, I wrote it about, a lot about growing up at the beach, you know, and just waiting for that. When is summertime coming? You know, you're sick of the cold weather, you're sick of the, the snow and the mm -hmm. rain. It's like, when's the time? Well, it's spring, it's about that time. <laughs> about summertime, we sat down and wrote that song because that's an anticipation of all that summer brings, you know, and um, I got to headline a festival in the, the Virgin Islands, St. Thomas, St. John, and we went out there with the whole band. We, we had a, um, a week full of shows in all these beach bars. It was the absolute most fun I've ever had in my life. And then to, to top it off, well, there was a huge um, Texas chili cook-off right on Brewers Bay Beach. The airport's right over here, so I'm on this big stage. There's thousands of people out there. There's planes landing. It's absolutely gorgeous. Here I am with my band from Nashville, and we just rocked out to, to, to all these awesome, awesome people. And I knew it when this came up, I was like, we have to film the video for this. So we ended up, uh, we had a piece, Paul Cater Deaton, okay. um, and he, he is a um, underwater videographer and documentarist and I said what do you think about doing a, a music video and I told him I sh then I sent him the song and he was like oh man I'm in so he followed us around to all the beach bars we got shots from different beach bars we went underwater scuba diving I brought an old guitar that I didn't care about <laughs> and there's just so much fun you guys got to check it out it's on YouTube and jimmycharlesmusic.com my Facebook That's awesome. it was it was absolutely the most fun it's one of my favorites and I gotta say you know seeing that video and just kind of seeing it it was a party you could tell that was a good time and you guys had a blast so and, and I mean, now they've got hit with two Category Five hurricanes. So I've got so so many uh, so many great uh, friends out there now. So just wishing them the best that they're watching. You know, still thinking about you. Can't wait to get back to the Virgin Islands. That's awesome. So, a question I usually like to ask everybody because everybody does this a little different. Yeah. How does Jimmy Charles when he's like, you know what? I want to sit down. I want to do a write session. How does it come for you? Is it a you know? Is it an easy thing? Is it I'm um, driving in the car and I'm like, oh, got to pull over. I got something going on. Give us a little bit of how that works. So there's there's no real rhyme or reason or you, it comes. You know, it's with creativeness. There's all kinds of different things that affect creativeness. You know, so. Um, normally you schedule writes with, with other writers in town. Um, I've been writing with uh, my buddy C.J. Garten, who's an awesome writer. We've been just kicking off some great songs lately. But sometimes I'll be in a car. And if I'm in a long car ride and something will come to me. Or I'm always looking for something, something that somebody says, something that I see, and I'm like, that's a song or that's a song, and I write it down. You know. So any young artists out there, one of the biggest things that I've learned is, is don't say I'll remember that. Like if you have a dream and you write wake it up, cool. write it down. Like yep. I don't care if you're tired, go to your phone, put it in your phone, put it back, go back to sleep. Because I've forgotten so many great things. Yeah. But um, yeah, I normally like to, to sit down with, with someone or sometimes by my, I think it's important to write by yourself as an artist too, you know, um, but also collaborate with as many other writers and artists because you learn from them, you get things from them. And you know, that's where, you know, about summertime, I wrote with Lynn um, and Bill DeLuigi, Lynn Wilbanks. Bill Deluigi, some great writers in town, and I just, I explained to him everything that I wanted to say, and then we all just kind of came together on it, so. Sometimes they're quick, sometimes they're not, <laughs> sometimes they're, good, they're great, sometimes they suck, you know, yeah, you never it, know. It's the way to go. But it's numbers, right? you gotta keep doing it. But, and, and that's a really cool thing for people to understand, because some think it just comes so easy, and it, it's a long working process, you know? You know, you should write 200 songs before you, you know, feel confident that you're, you know, a writer, you know? That's what I always kind of, the, the measure that I, I live by, you know, is once you, you've written, written, okay, 200 songs, now I've got, now I'm starting to figure it out. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, and we were chatting a little bit beforehand. You said you had a really good write today, yesterday, kind of going in. So what new music, what can everybody look forward to? What's going on? Uh, well, I've got a lot of, a lot of great stuff. Um, my, the new summertime song. So 
Bad Summertime uh, was my first song on the Music Row charts. And um, everybody loves the summertime feel. So the, our next one is going to be a Tequila Kind of Day, nice. a song I wrote with uh, with C.J. Garten, who I was talking about earlier. Okay. Um, it's just got it's it's another it's you need a Tequila Kind of Day, man. <laughs> and it's it's about going to Mexico. You know, I did the after party for Luke Bryan's Crash My Playa yep. out there, the Barcelona Maya, and um, <clears throat> there was tequila everywhere. You know, so it's it's one of those kind of days. Sometimes you need those kind of days, and. Uh, we're, we're coming out with a whole new merch line. You know, we're going to tag that tequila kind of day, and it's just going to be a feel-good summertime song, a lot like Bout Summertime, but a little bit little bit different, a little more salt and lime involved, you know, and uh, I'm really excited for it. So we've got that fun aspect, and um, I've got another great song coming out called uh, Rolling On, which is it, it's, it's bringing me back more to my uh, southern rock roots, okay. you know, which I love too, some Marshall Tucker, you know, and... Um, this one is really about my dreams. It's about my struggle. It's about um, how, you know, through, it's, it's easy when it's good, but when it's bad, you know, you got to pick yourself up. You got to keep rolling on. You got to keep rolling. Everybody does, no matter what, where, everybody goes through stuff in life, you know, and, uh, and we, we need that, we need that push, that drive to keep us alive. So um, that's what that song's about. It's, that one's really close to my heart. And I'm excited for that one too. I've got um, another one called God and a Woman and um, and when I feel the sun and uh, we're, we're gonna be getting in the studio soon and we're, I'm continuously writing so I'm really excited for the, the Josh Turner concert we're gonna be introducing some of that music to my hometown for the first time I can't That's wait so cool oh we're, we're super excited I know I am at yeah. least <laughs> so um, okay on that note we'll go with the really hard questions now right favorite venue you've ever played here in Tennessee um, I would probably say the Wild Horse Saloon, um, really great sound. You know, of course, they do a lot of big concerts there. Yep. Um, the goal would be the Ryman, the Opry. Obviously, we haven't taken that stage yet, but that, that's on the radar. You know, we're going after it. But the, the I, I would definitely say, um, you know, and the Honky Tonks downtown are a big part of my career, but um, and, and and develop me where I am as an artist. But I'd say Wild Horse that. When you play there, you you feel it, man. It's a big stage. Well, I'm going to date myself because I remember the days of old TNN and the Wild Horse Saloon was broadcasted. Yeah. You know, everybody dancing, having a good time, and the concerts that were brought through. So sure. I totally get that venue. So let's go to the the old home state, Maryland. Uh, favorite venue there? Well, it's about to be the convention center on March 23rd. Open up for Josh Turner. So I love that. Um, that was perfect, you know, right? Exactly. <laughs> You know, I can't, I can't wait for that one there, but uh, you know, I've played a lot of those, uh, those bars. We're going to be doing a Bucksy Salty Dog, or the, oh, nice. the, the, the extension of the Bucksy, Dry yeah. Dock 28. Okay. So I'm going to be doing my own concert there, um, bringing my buddy CJ and my other buddy Dan Hamrick are coming from Nashville. So oh, okay. they're going to be performing too. We're going to have a little uh, Nashville night the night after the concert and um, everybody people traveling uh, quite a bit to, to Ocean City so we're gonna have our own little party there sure you know. and that the bar is awesome yeah. absolutely awesome and MR ducks on the dock yes. I love rocking yes. the dock at MR ducks <laughs> we might have to do one of those yeah, if you, you go know, up a little there. bit a little bit north you got you got the hammerheads that's in Delaware but I love that place too that's perfect. Hammerheads dockside yes 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 okay favorite sports team Baltimore Orioles. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Like that one. And here's here's the toughest of all of them, okay? Um, every artist, I always ask the same question. So it's our B chord signature question, right? Um, you are stranded on an island. You can take one instrument with you. Give us the instrument, any sentimental value, why you would take it, the whole nine yards. Well, if I could take one instrument and I was able to get that instrument, it would be my dad's old Martin D28. Ooh. Uh, we had to sell it when we went through some kind of some tough times and um, haven't haven't seen it but that was the the guitar that he played when I first learned three chords and the truth and he was playing me George Jones songs and Merle Haggard songs and songs that I never would have learned that, I, that brought me here today because my friends were not listening to that stuff you know so he taught me traditional country music on that guitar and if, if I was gonna sit around and pick it would be on an island it would be with that one Love it. That that's great. I'm a I'm a Martin guy. I love Martin. So yeah, totally get it. Okay. So before we end, give you a platform. Tell everybody where they can go find you, where they can find your music, all that good stuff. Yeah. Well, I'd love for everybody to um, get on all my social media. You can find all my social media on JimmyCharlesMusic.com. Um, just scroll down Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, of course. Um, get on there and subscribe to my YouTube as well. There the videos on there, and I always love getting 
messages, comments, don't be afraid to reach out and say hi and um, always post where I'm going to be performing. So we'd love to see you all. Very cool. Well, Jimmy, thank you so, so much. We appreciate this. Dude, we picked awesome. one of the best days I, I think we could possibly do. The skyline. The oh, like this. <laughs> yeah. Rain <laughs> galore, but it opened yeah. up. So things worked for a reason. Thank you, everybody. Follow us at bcord 615 or on the web, www.bcord.net. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Thanks again, man. That was awesome. <clears throat> appreciate it.